Students read why that they look for more books to read since actually questions were will be coming from any angle. And then also they learnt better to apply what they've learnt into the questions, application questions. The same thing with the practicals also. Another thing was it, it made the student more proactive because there's nothing like past questions that uh, students will be answering to prepare them. And we also incorporated that into our end of semester questions. Uh, what I will say is that uh, I will encourage the council to continue with these good works. And then I hope that what they have started, they will continue and improve upon it. I think I, I, I'm, I'm much aware that uh, when the registrar visited us, he said uh, now even uh, the finalists they can write their exams even outside their institution or even country and he started some examples where some final year students from the north they are they able to uh, you know, write the exams in uh, Accra and also some who travel outside they were able to also write their exams there so I think uh, it is, it's, there's an improvement but I encourage the council to you know move on move forward you know for we the tutors we have uh, uh, finished nursing and then some of us have uh, uh, went for further education and all those things and we have a little bit knowledge on this online uh, thing but by then uh, the students the that will, that will be their first time of having the online examination so uh, the the tutors together with uh, the ict personnel uh, brought their heads together and then we set plenty uh, multiple choice questions because we were told in the communication that it's going to be multiple choice uh, uh, questions alone and there will not be theoretical uh, we, we realized that we had to take them through, so we had to get more computers, and now we have 50, we have 60 computers now. We have a well-equipped ICT lab with UPS, with standby generator, so that when the light even goes off, um, we still have power whenever an exam is being conducted. And another thing we also did in the preparation had to do with the preparing the students themselves. We had to give the IT lab some questions, sample questions from our question bank. Then they had it on their computers here. We prepared the students. They gave the students special index numbers and others. And the students were allowed to come in badges and were taught how to key in their index numbers, how to boot the computer. Some of them didn't even know how to use a mouse, but through this um, online examination, they were taught all these things and it became um, a success. We will first send a word of appreciation to Mrs. Mavis Nam, our advanced nursing tutor, who was also a clinical coordinator. She really, this woman really helped us. She came and briefed us through how the, the whole examination was going to be like. She encouraged us to um, go online. At one day, Mr. Felicianti, the registrar for the NMC, was going to engage students um, on the YouTube channel, uh, NMC YouTube page. So she encouraged us to go online and listen to what he has to say. There is no fear about anything. So we also listened to her. We went online and we listened to everything. She also gave us a very brief um, presentation on how the online was going to be. So after the whole paper, we were very appreciative of what she said because we didn't see anything different from what she was saying. The online is better than the paper based because it doesn't demand a lot of writings. Compared to the paper based, your explanation to a particular question based on how you answer it might change the meaning of what you want to say. But with the online base, the possible answers are there, which are precise. So you choose exactly what you think is the answer. So I think the online base is better as compared to the uh, paper base.